What's up, y'all? Cam and Chris back again with another video. This time we got another Gary Owens. It said when the gummies kick in. Uh, mm -mm. That's a, okay. <laughs> everybody be having this conversation where people be like, because whenever somebody tell you about a gummy or they took a gummy, a brownie, a cookie, they always give you a horror story or like how they <laughs> took too much because it didn't kick in. It's like, yeah. oh, shoot. This ain't, this weak. This a dub. And then you eat some more. And then you yeah. eat some more. You like, let me see. But let's see what he said. I started taking gummies. Gummies. Um, yeah, gummies. like, I never did any drugs when I was married. And then I get divorced. I was like, I'm going to try some shit. You know? <laughs> Here, here's the thing about gummies, though. Like, nobody ever just finds a gummy and starts taking it. Like somebody has to introduce you to that shit. And right. you better hope you pick the right friend the first time you do it. Cause whoever gives you a gummy the first time you do it, they are gonna talk to you like you a CVS pharmacist. Hey, w w what you think about Gary? You want a 10 milligram or the 15 milligram? Mm -hmm. I want the little red bear. I want to try that little red bear. I don't think you want the bear. I want to try the bear. And they always give you all these disclaimers for you take it. All right, Gary, look. I'm going to give you the bear. Promise me you'll be somewhere stationary when you take it. Because once you eat it, it's going to be about 30 to 45 minutes before it kicks in. And you don't want to be in your car driving when that happens. Because you don't know how your body's going to react. That right there should tell you don't do it. You don't know how your body's going to react? Because I remember the first time I ever took a gummy, I went to my boy's house. He had a little packet on the kitchen counter. I go over, I grab the packet. We get in his car. We head to a restaurant. On the way to the restaurant, I ate the bear. We sit out at the restaurant. We order our food. I'm talking. It's at that point, I looked at my watch. 30 minutes. Nothing. 35. Nothing. 40. <laughs> nothing. I looked at my buddy. I said, hey, I think you gave me a drug-free bear. <laughs> So my dumb ass took another one. Oh, everybody know. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I ain't got nothing to say on that one. That's, oh my that's the goodness. worst thing you can do. But he had five more good minutes. Whoa, look at all Wait. that. He had five he more. He had 44 minutes, 45 Four. minutes. <laughs> he was, what, he, he had, had 35, 40 right had, now. He had 40 right now, right? Okay. Addicts. Hold on. Bunch of drug heads here in San Jose. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't never seen a whole motherfucking crowd go, oh! <laughs> You're like a table here, a table here, not every motherfucker in here. I think the camera guy stopped filming. This motherfucker say too. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, here's the thing though. Here's the thing about taking those bears 40 minutes apart. It don't matter. It don't matter that I took those bears 40 minutes apart. When those two bears <laughs> met each other in my stomach, they came together and formed a bigger, stronger bear. It's not like one bear came out and 40 minutes later, the other bear came out. No, 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 same time the bears attack. And when the bears attack, there's nothing you can do. It don't matter how much food you eat. It don't matter how much water you drink. Somebody told me milk lies. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> when the bears attack, the only thing that can help you is time. Because when those two bears attacked me in that restaurant, I felt like I was in the movie Get Out. I was just stuck. <laughs> That's like the same story with everybody. That's why I don't like like sweet stuff, stuff like that. Cause you stuff oh, you that tastes like gummies, right? Brown, like, like, right anything that got weed in it or yeah. something like that, mm -hmm. you shouldn't put it in nothing that you could eat. Like say it's a bat, these some some THC hey. chips, gummies, brownie. Hey. Like it need to be one yeah. little piece of something. 
that you could eat and that'd be it. Because you're not going to stop if it's something good, like a cake, a brownie or something. Because you're going to want some more. Especially at the kick in. you <laughs> like, ooh, that was good. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not after the uh, kick in. You, then you know not to do that. Uh, sure. you like, dang, I'm hungry. But like That's he crazy. said, if you waiting for it to kick in, you be sitting there going, this is dud. This is straight up dud. This ain't doing nothing, man. You gave me a weak one. Right people, after you say that, that, yeah, you gave but, me a weak one, man. <laughs> Start kicking oh it right off. Oh my gosh! Over. But that's but, funny how the audience, like he said, everybody in the audience, like I'm everybody saying, knew what that what he was about to say, what was gonna happen. Everybody, I think, then had. I mean, nowadays, man, because you gotta think everybody taking them because. Every time you look, it's a shop with some in it, like a CBD shop oh, yeah. or something. Oh, everywhere, everywhere. guys. That's how you know everybody. I'm saying nowadays, it'd be so much stuff going on in your life. You'd be like, you need a gummy sometimes. you like, I need some CBD, something just help me oh, relax. I don't know. Is that marijuana dispensary we got that just came up in, the, in our area? They Boom. busy. Booming. They booming. For real. They need to go ahead and legalize it. Booming. Get but- it. Stop all, stop criminalizing. They ain't got to worry about them dudes going to jail, but that's another story. Thank y'all yes. for watching. Like this video, subscribe, y'all. What you about to say?